Hey everyone. Hello. In this yeah. video, you are gonna see some highlights from our excursion here in Skagway, Alaska. Yep. We ended up, Brandon, what did we do? We did the, <laughs> uh, I don't know the official name, Sarah will correct me in just a second or put, put it here, but we did the uh, Skagway, it was a bus tour combo railway tour. And yes. it was awesome. Yes, so you are going to see a start here in Skagway on a vintage mini bu mini bus, and then we take yep. another bus all the way up into British Columbia, yep. into the beginnings of the Yukon. We stop and we take a look at some different sites. And then from there, we're going to come back all the way down to Skagway on the White Pass Rail. So there's a lot to cover. There is a lot to cover. So just sit back, relax, and enjoy the train flight. And flight. And enjoy the rail ride. Enjoy. But, <laughs> <laughs> but also, <laughs> Stay tuned if you like the kinds of videos we have for Alaska. We're going to have a lot of other Alaska excursion videos. Mm -hmm. And also we have full Alaska Disney Cruise of course, Wonder yep. Vlog. So check those out too. Absolutely. But otherwise, ask us any questions you have yep. about this excursion. And we hope you enjoy. Absolutely. So let's talk excursion details. Our excursion in Skagway started bright and early with a check-in time at 7.15 a.m. Because it was early, we actually opted to order room service in our stateroom for some coffee, some tea, and some gluten-free breakfast pastries. We definitely recommend that as an option if you are doing any kind of early excursion or make sure to bring a snack along with you. In this particular excursion that we participated in, there weren't any stops for food throughout the time and it was about four and a half hours long. So you're definitely gonna wanna prepare in advance for food especially since most of the breakfast dining options on the Disney Wonder weren't actually open before we needed to leave on this particular excursion. Check-in for this excursion was in the Walt Disney Theater, and that was a really easy process. You do need to have not only your key to the world card, but also your passport, because when you're going on this particular excursion, you are going to go back into Canada, and you do have to clear both U.S. and Canadian customs throughout various points along the way. Group sizes do vary, and our specific excursion had 19 people in total participating. This made for a really nice personal excursion experience, which we both really loved. Once we completed the check-in and our entire group was all there, we made our way through to the cruise port area and we boarded a restored yellow 1927 sightseeing bus. Uh, my name is Tabitha and I'm from Portland, Oregon. I came up for the summer in 2006 and I'm still here. So I've been here a minute and I'll be your guide for the next 25 or so minutes. Um, we're at sea level right now, we're gonna stay at sea level, but if we went uh, another 14 miles, we'd be at 3,000 feet up in the mountains. <laughs> Pretty intimidating horn, isn't it? <laughs> I hope you did your hair and makeup this morning because you're going to be in a lot of photos just being on this bus. <laughs> and we're going to take pictures of you. Most of the towns don't have a road. You can only fly your boat into them. They're just right there on the sides of the glacial valley on the slope right on the ocean. But now you're at the very end of the fjord. See those two guys standing very still right there? Just for my tour, they just did it. Captain was the guy with the backpack, the guy who knows what he's doing, that's Heesh, or his nickname was uh, Scoopum Jim. They were friends and uh, they figured out, he helped Captain Moore figure out that there is a way through that, those mountains there, it is a pass. It's tough, but it's doable. As you've seen from some of the highlights that we're showing here in the video, the city highlights portion of the tour included just a lot of information about Skagway history, but it also covered a lot of really great and informative information about life in a small town in Alaska. We learned a ton about Skagway and living in the area from our tour guide, Tabitha, and really enjoyed the 30 minute drive through town. And at this point of the excursion, we head back to the cruise port terminal and we transfer from the vintage sightseeing bus to a more modern minibus that's going to take us up to the Klondike Highway, to the Canadian border, and to the White Pass Railroad. 
Now, before we departed, our tour guide did direct those who might need a restroom to the public restrooms that were located right at the Skagway Cruise Terminal. Now, it's important to know that the minibuses do not have restrooms on board, and the drive to the White Pass Railroad is about an hour long with scenic stops. So be sure to use that public restroom before you leave onto the next portion of your excursion. And with that, please enjoy some highlights from this portion of the excursion as we head up to the Yukon Canadian border area and to the White Pass Railroad. All right, so this is amazing. Incredible. It's incredible. So we are on the second leg of our tour. So this mm -hmm. is the minibus tour that's going up into the Yukon. And then on the way back, we're going to get the White Pass Railway. Yeah. But we're doing little stops throughout the trip up to the Yukon. And my goodness. I'm going to go through a midlife crisis. And, my um, goodness. Are we moving to Alaska? I don't know. <laughs> Probably not. But, gorgeous um, views. It's amazing gorgeous. Amazing information from our yep. tour guide, Andy. And... I think even right now, before we've even gone on the train, we would highly recommend this. Highly experience. recommend it, yeah, but let's just keep enjoying this. And with Sarah, we'll insert a lot of mm -hmm. footage and video, and we're getting back on. Let's go. All right, so we have stopped at the official Welcome to Alaska, Alaska sign, which, which we means have, we are heading into Canada, Canada shortly. Soon, yes, um, going through customs and everything. Yep. But this is gorgeous. Sarah will insert video and photos. Maybe, can you do the I, of us in front of the Alaska maybe. sign? There's just like a million. I was yeah. like, oh my gosh, there's so much to look at. And it's cold because there's snow. It's and pretty cold, we're yeah. just standing over on the Klondike uh, Centennial sign and there's like ice and stuff. and. Everything's it's crazy. Like it. It's cool. So uh, Sarah will be inserting some footage here, but we just wanted to quickly stop and uh, just show you guys this. Uh, again, it's uh, nothing we show you guys can ever no. do this justice. Yeah, it's just it's not amazing. possible. So uh, anyway, we're going to continue on. And we are in Canada. We're, we're back in British Columbia. We yes. are technically not in the Yukon. Evidently, there is a tiny patch of British Columbia <laughs> before the Yukon. We are not quite making it into the Yukon. Does everyone remember Yukon Cornelius? Oh, yeah. From what, Frosty? No, Ra Rudolph. What am I saying? Rudolph. Rudolph. Rudolph, what am I saying? Oh, my gosh. Um, but there's the train track right there yeah. that we're going to be on soon. Yep. And this is a frozen lake. What lake did he say it was? I do not remember. But we'll I put a cap. There's a sign over here. Yeah, let's go look at the sign. But this is incredible. The train should be here shortly. just got on board a train car 306 for the ride back so we took the 
<laughs> not a bus, what was it, like a mini bus? A mini bus. Uh, which was amazing. Our tour guide yeah, was Andy's awesome. Andy was amazing. But um, we just we got on the train and we are now waiting to go back down the mountain back to uh, Skagway. The White Pass Railroad is one of Skagway's most popular excursions, and there's a lot of different options to choose from. We picked this particular option so that we could have a lot of different places to stop. But many who do visit Skagway choose a version of this excursion that includes round trip options. Whatever you choose really depends on you and your family's preferences. We really enjoyed our combination tour, but if you love railroads, you really can't go wrong with any excursion that includes at least one way on the White Pass Railroad. Built in 1898 during the Klondike Gold Rush, You'll find that this train ride experience has a lot of historical information. You'll get some excellent narration along the way, and you'll also see some amazing sights. As you'll see from the upcoming footage, it can be a bit on the loud side if for some reason on the way back to Skagway, the train's brakes do need to be used. And that did happen on our excursion. And going out on the platforms might not be for you if you have a fear of heights or bumpy rides. If you're prone to motion sickness, you'll definitely want to consider if this excursion is right for you too, because it can get a little bumpy. We did take a lot of footage during our time on the train, so here are going to be some highlights from our experience on the White Pass Railroad. Right, so you may not be able to hear us. We're sorry, maybe cats have to be put up, but we are in route. We are in route. We're outside. Alright, so Sarah, so far? This is so, this is actually way fun. I yeah. have been really enjoying, I feel like I've been out more than Brandon, funnily enough. A little bit more. I, we have just been out on both sides of yep. the, uh, I don't know, what are we calling those things? The train. Well, oh, the little, uh, little the platforms. Yeah, little platforms. Train. Yeah, little metal but, platforms. Yeah, it's been fun. I can't wait to see the footage because yeah, we'll see how I've been goes. using the GoPro and trying to get some different shots so you guys get to see different things. But it's really beautiful. Yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. And highest of high recommends again. These excursions have been amazing. Yeah, and I'm really glad we did the one way, the one way with the train, but also did some other stuff because yeah. I think it really broke things up and we got to yeah. see different stuff. Speaking of different stuff, let's see what we can see over here. Right, so you may not be able to hear me, I don't know, but just to show you, there is a restroom in every car on this train. Seriously, I'll take this footage. Look, it's like inception like this. Going. So, but here's bathroom, the toilet, um, sink, paper towels, everything. Um, not too shabby, actually. So, yeah, bathroom in every car if you need it. And I do. As our excursion comes to a close, we head back into Skagway, and from there we do meet our minibus driver who gives us the option to either be dropped off in town or back right by the ship, which we decided to do so we could grab lunch. But of course, 
We definitely want to hear what questions you have for us. Please let us know in the comments. We hope you enjoyed this excursion exclusive video. And of course, if you want to see more Disney Cruise Line Alaska content, find us over at our channel with all sorts of cruise logs from the experience. Thank you.